I watched them, bow, bow, both of them fired, and the muzzle flash was like, psh, psh. Shine's muzzle flash was a little higher. He was on the side closest to the bar. Puffy's muzzle flash was a little lower, and he was on the side closest to where I was, straight ahead from me. I watched them both fire their guns. I watched them. I got hit right here, in my nose, in between my eyes, which means I'm facing directly at you. This nurse leaned over and said, oh, mommy, that's you they're talking about? You saw J-Lo, mommy, what she had on? I'm fucking dying, and this lady's asking me, what was J-Lo wearing? Wow. What's up, y'all? Natana Rubin has come out to talk about the 1999 shooting at Club New York, where she says that Diddy shot her uh, between the eyes on her nose, which was like yes. here, but still yeah. between the eyes. Yeah. Um, so she came out to, I guess, to talk about her story again mm -hmm. and everything like that, which apparently, I think this whole thing got sparked by Shine, who was the guy who... Um, people say took the fall. I mean, he even said like, he took the fall for him. Mm -hmm. um, so she did come out and she did a whole interview with The Art of Dialogue, which it was quite an interesting conversation. Yes. I watched the whole two hour video, which I think is important. You know, before people talk, we should definitely research. Absolutely. Because um, it was very interesting, the whole interview. And, mm -hmm. you know, she talked about what happened that night and everything, yeah. um, she, which I think everybody should go watch it for sure yeah but she did say that you know they got into a fight with this guy named scar basically they the club was really packed they bumped into this guy scar he pushed his elbows back and you know they Diddy got shine and did he shine in their entourage or whatever right. i don't know where jayla was in the mix she didn't really stop talk about that too yeah. much um but basically it all started over a spilled champagne drink in, sh in scar's face I think that they were talking back and forth or whatever, stuff like that. One of Scar's guys slapped one of Diddy's guys with a, a wad of money and all that stuff. Diddy and Shine backed up, and I guess they As they took, reached for their guns. While they reached for their guns, Shine had shot um, the one of another guy. I can't remember what his name was, but it was, you know, the guy, the other victim in the yeah. shooting thing. He shot him in the back. Diddy shot her in the face. Mm -hmm. um, and... She said that she actually stated this many, many years ago. She told everybody about this. She yeah. was the star witness for this. And, you know, somehow, some way, they were able to get Diddy got witnesses who, he got witnesses who talked, who um, were basically on his side and stated that it was Shine who did it. Shine um, took the fall, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. But Shine, not to mistake, Shine actually did shoot somebody. It right. wasn't her, but he definitely shot somebody. She yeah. did state that and everything. Yeah. And she stated that, you know, over the years she has been, she has nine bullet fragments still in her face from it mm -hmm. because apparently it was a hollow bullet, so it um, shatters upon impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she said she stated this to several people, and she said that even the whole thing with the, pol with the ambulance thing, it seemed as if, like, the hospital was trying to let her die. I think it was at St. Clair's or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, they took her to a hospital that was a local hospital. There wasn't a lot of people. There was. It was there was further away to than the, club. the number one trauma center. Yeah, right. The number one trauma center was the like uh, level one trauma center was closer to the club. So why will they bypass that and take her to this other like neighborhood, you know, um, hospital and that doesn't have the. Um, that does have the equipment and the know-how to deal with her when you could have just taken her to this trauma center that was close by, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, you just have to go listen to this interview. I found it to be, I found most of it, I believe 95% of it to be authentic. I mean, I believed her. 
I, I mean, I believe the I totally baby. believed I everything, mean, most of the stuff that she said. Yeah, I mean, she even said that throughout the year she has had instances, instances where people have been threatening her, where, you know, she, she has, has been intimidated. She had to leave New York, apparently. They had a mover because apparently, allegedly, Diddy had a bag on her head, meaning that he had paid somebody to kill her. Mm. Um, and that, you know, she basically had to go into hiding for a long time. And that That's how, what she was told. Right, that was she told Diddy. by an informant who an informant, was working yeah. with Diddy um, that he did not know about. Right. So that's basically what was going on and everything. And, you know, just, just the whole thing has just been... And prior to that, she had two uh, beauty, beauty... Two so, salons. Two beauty salons in New York. She had to, you know... Pick up and leave. Pick up and leave. Move herself, her family. Yeah. You know, um, so it hasn't been easy for her. Yeah. But just crazy, literally yeah. crazy. And you know what's so ridiculous? That all of this started just by bumping somebody in the club. You mm -hmm. have, you feel you have to go and shoot somebody mm -hmm. in a crowded club? Yeah. Where is the common sense? Yeah. And where is the, the, the control like, yeah. of your I, yeah. emotions? Because someone bumped you, it's like, how dare you? It's like that mentality of how dare you bump me. I know, in a crowded club. Like... How dare you bump back after I, we just pushed on you? And you, like, even if someone pushes you back in a club, like, does that warrant a shootout? To, yeah, it's craziness, man. The whole thing is just really a shame. I am happy that she's coming out. I mean, she I said am. she's been speaking about it for so many years yeah, and stuff like that. She said as soon as she got it, she told them that I was shot by Puff. Yeah, Puff, you know, Puff Daddy. She said she told everyone she told the doctors um, yeah they said and even the lawyers were trying to change changed. Her. yeah her story she said has never changed yeah and then now it seems like shine is even trying to apparently he's trying to become the president or the prime minister over in belize so he's trying to say that oh look you know the woman see see she say i didn't shoot that or whatever yeah. the case may be but and, that doesn't mean even though you didn't shoot her you shot somebody yeah so because you they got said your 10 if, years because he was you deported back to, to Belize, your, your Sean. 10 years because you shot somebody. Well, because in Belize, you, if you cannot to be like um, a politician or whatever if you have been convicted of a crime. So he has Anywhere been using, in the world. Yeah. yeah. So he has been using this as, you know, I a guess. to say, well, I didn't shoot her. You see, she said, Puff did it. I didn't do it. But so, she still shot somebody because there were two victims. So you were still convicted because you did shoot somebody. Yeah. So the whole thing is just very unfortunate. I do think that the more this whole thing with Diddy continues to play out, there will be more people that come out. I mean, because I can only Those imagine how many. Told. I'm just like, well, I mean, at this point, I'm just like, ugh. I mean, cause what I'm, more is out there? Because my thing is when you go into the world and you do evil stuff and mm -hmm. you're just like a a serpent taking from people and mm -hmm. then doing these things and then forcing people to do stuff. Like you're affecting so many different people's lives. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like there's going to be more to come out and it's just going to be a, a downfall. I mean, we're even hearing stuff about Jay-Z. We're hearing stuff about Usher, Neo, Justin Bieber, like even Mary J. Blige. And I'm just like, not Mary J. Like, it's Mary too J. much, we man. love us some Mary J. Blige. I know, but they're literally saying that she was part of a freak off, and I'm just like, I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I can't see Mary and J doing that. And if she did that, it must have been when she was young. Did you know herself? Probably just getting in the game, thinking that this yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just like I how don't blame Cassie. anybody until you're 26. I'm sorry. I just I find it very difficult. To blame people until they pass the age of twenty-five. Well, because, I can't say that for Diddy. No, he I, was assaulting people in Howard. And no, no, I'm not talking about Diddy. <laughs> I am not. You know, <laughs> they're oh just, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about like a Yeah, I ain't talking about that. If you are younger and you did not say that, yeah, I'm not talking yeah. about that. Yeah, I just want to clear for the like, folks because yeah, gonna be I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about that. Gosh, I ain't talking about that. Yeah, I'm talking about mistakes, like you know, doing some weird stuff. Yeah, right. Um, things that you might look at and say, "Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that." I should, yeah, yeah. 
But no, Diddy, listen, you're in your 50s, Diddy. Like, you have no excuse. You're in your 50s. You're almost 60 acting this way. And did, did we hear, like, in the thing that up until this year, this year in your 50s, you were still doing stuff? Like, yeah. crazy stuff, man. But this is what happens. Someone asked the question, why will someone who is a billionaire, I do this because y'all ain't really billionaires. No. But <laughs> someone I mean, who's I a feel billionaire, like, yeah. right, um, go to fly people in to, like, be with them, right? Why do you need that? And it's about this control, about sick control. Yeah. Wanting to have control over people. I think that's what he gets off of. It's not even really yeah. the freak off per se, but it's the fact that he can control people. That's what gets him off. Yeah. And you know, I don't really give a fuck. It's I don't sick. really care what gets him off, but I just yeah. feel like that's it's what sick. it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but yeah, it just the whole thing is a mess. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> a thousand a bottles of baby oil <sighs> and Luke. And it's yeah. not just baby oil, y'all. It's Luke. Also, I know y'all talking about the, baby, the Johnson & Johnson baby oil, whatever the case may be, but it's also the lube. We have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Sicko. 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 Um, you know, we do want to say that. Do you think, I just wonder to myself, is there any way that if he does a plea deal, like how much time do you think they might give him? A plea deal for what? If for he him, just decides guilty? and says, I, I plead guilty, like, give me some time, I'm guilty. I think maybe he'll get 10 years. <laughs> I, I think that he'll get at least 20. You think so? Maybe I don't think anybody giving the, this, this full 10 years for all these crimes. I, I mean, but it's so. good. But I've seen that many with people. They, they said 50 witnesses. Yeah. Like, it's too many people, too many lives, too many stuff is done. But I just know when you plead guilty, they see. really give you, like, the charges are pretty, not small, but, like, they sometimes, depending on what it is and how much evidence they have, yeah. I mean, he well, could... Well, for crimes like this, I think at least you're, minimum de 10 you're years. dealing with at least, you know, 30 to life or 25 to life. Was that so, guilty? Is that if he pleads guilty or is that if he's found guilty? Like if you're found guilty. Okay. So, I, I do hope they find him guilty because I actually want them to do a trial. Because I don't want him to plead. I mean, if he pled guilty, it will be in the benefit of his kids. I feel because at least then it's like he's not having to. I mean, his mom about to be out. homeless off of his off of his n nasty actions. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, like. But they will take. They're going to take quite a bit from him, though. Yeah. You see, if he pleads guilty, this is what I'm thinking. If he pleads guilty, right, then he doesn't have to waste so much money on the whole trial. That's what I'm saying. Because these attorneys are going to get take all his money. And I, They're going to drag it out for as long as he can drag it out, right, and get all the money, and then you'll have nothing. They might not even like the truck. The, the thing come to trial until maybe another two years, two, three years, just so they can continue to build. Ugh. But then if you take a plea deal, then your time is going to be shorter. Yeah. Even, I mean, 25 years, if you were gonna get 25 years to life anyway, you take a plea deal, then you'll get 20 years. I don't think he, anyone's giving him less than 20 years even if he takes a plea deal, I don't think so. Yeah, probably. I don't think so. Or, yeah. uh, or close to that. Yeah. Maybe 18 years, something like that. What y'all think? Yeah, y'all. You think he'll take a plea deal? I have a sneaky suspicion he will. Um, I mean, they say that he's on S word watch right now. Yeah. I don't find him to be somebody who won't commit any S. I don't. I think they're worried that somebody might kill him. Yeah. I, I don't think. I mean, because we all saw how the whole thing happened with Epstein. The... I mean, how he, how he, how he swing I, himself. From that little bunk bed. That was very slow. So, you know, I never really looked into that. Well, I saw the much. picture of just the, the, the bed sheet. Not of the guy, but I saw the bed sheet wrapped around the edge of the bed frame, or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't seem like it was enough 
even if you sat down to try to, it just didn't look like, mm. anyway, I don't want to get sued. So, <laughs> it ain't none of my business. I don't care. I feel like they're worried that somebody might take him out. But I don't think he's actually there. And he's too arrogant to me to, you know. Yeah. But when you anyway. think about he's 54. Who's going even through if that they give, if they give, Even if they give him 16 years, he's still going to be 70. But he's going to be 54 this year. So even if they give him 16 years. Yeah. If they give him 20 years, you won't be, you know, 73 by the time you come out. Yeah. So it's either being 73 by the time you come out, but if you got 25 to life, then you're going to be 80 by the time you come out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, he's going to die in prison most, most likely. I don't think he's going to have a long life in prison. That's just how I feel. That's just my suspicion. But yeah, y'all, let us know what you guys think about um, Natania, Natalia, I think. Natalia yeah. Rubin. Natalia Rubin coming out and let us know what you guys think about whether Diddy and she's will such get a good a storyteller video. too. Just the way she talks about the whole thing and stuff like that. Man, when she talked talking. about how that woman was there talking about, oh, mommy, you were there with Jayla. What was J what was Jayla wearing, mommy? And he's like, I'm effing dying. <laughs> he's asking that was me what Jayla. Like, well, it wasn't it hilarious. Wasn't hilarious but it's just because like, she no, goes to, to that. That's the hospital. That's the neighborhood hospital that they took her to. He's out taking her to the level one tribal <laughs> hospital. They took her to this one that was further away. Talking about what and was she gets there wearing? And the lady, one of the nurses, is asking her, Oh, wow, you saw J Lo. Oh, my goodness. What was J Lo wearing, mommy? What was J Lo wearing, mom? <laughs> it's like, what? I am dying. And she's bleeding from her face. That was cr the way she told that, Thank though. I was goodness. Just like, she was able to, because she said her mom was like she well was like, known in well New York. Known in the community. Yeah. And so she was able to contact her sister was able to contact her mom. Yeah. Who right away got her her daughter moved back, you know, to this level one trauma hospital and they were able to do surgery and all that stuff. That probably saved her life. Because if she was there with that crazy nurse, I wish she had got a name. <laughs> say what the name of the crazy woman was. Yeah, y'all. We'll mm. see y'all later. Bye. Bye.